Look how beautiful that snake is. Guys, I just had to stop and make a quick video about this. Right here, I was driving home and I just found this dead Burmese python on the road. Let me just uh, watch out for this car, because there's a car coming, I gotta be safe about this. Let me pull off more off to the side. This is crazy, guys. This is a dead Burmese python, the invasive species introduced throughout the pet trade. Wait a second, let me just, it's kind of weird filming with these cars going by. <laughs> Okay guys, look at this. A dead Burmese python. This is un- No! This isn't a dead Burmese python. This is a red-tailed boa. Oh my god. I just found a dead red-tailed boa. They're from South America. Oh my god. Oh, it smells. This, oh my goodness. This must be like a six foot long boa constrictor. How did this happen? This must have been somebody's pet. Because right now we're next to the city where I live. Oh my goodness, this poor, poor boa constrictor. I'm sure it was, a, it was a nice animal. It was beautiful, look. This is crazy, so it's so large. I thought that this was a Burmese python, but it's not. I just found a dead, about a six and a half, seven foot boa constrictor, red-tailed boa. Oh my goodness, these guys are known for eating small monkeys, macaws, sloths in the trees, iguanas. They get them humongous. Now, you guys know that I have my baby boas that I'm raising up right now. They're so tiny. This is a sub-adult. They can get around 12 feet long for females, sometimes even 13 feet for a female boa constrictor. That's a massive one, but it's possible. So my little babies can get this big. It's so sad to see this guy dead, but it's so crazy. It just shows you the craziness that's out here in Florida. You know, everyone's gotta be very responsible with their pets. Guys, the big message is basically, you gotta be responsible. If you decide you wanna get an animal, an exotic animal, you need to make sure that it's in a secure environment. You know what you're doing to take care of it so it's better for the animal and better for you. On all ends, we want to be safe, we want to be responsible when we keep these animals. That's a perfect example. Somebody was very irresponsible. Somebody either let go of the animal because they didn't want to deal with it anymore, or it escaped from the environment they're keeping it in. So make sure if you have snakes or any kinds of reptiles, they're strong. Make sure you have secure enclosures and you do not let them get out. When you live in a place like South Florida, it could disrupt the local ecosystem. That's the problem with the Burmese pythons, tegu lizards, and all the other invasive species we have here in South Florida, guys. So be careful. If you get into this stuff, know what you're dealing with. That was a pretty wild adventure right there, finding a, a large bow constrictor on the side of the road right outside my neighborhood. This is insane. Look how beautiful that snake is.